Hello, welcome to another video on using Smartsheet. Today, we're going to look at how we can have a parent row with a checkbox and have it checked when all of the um, children or descendant rows are also checked. So you can see if I go and check all these cells, this parent row here is checked now and my status is completed. So how do you do this? It's really very simple. In our parent row checkbox cell, we are going to count the number of descendant rows that are checked and compare it to the overall number of descendant cells so that when these two are equal it checks the box in our parent cell and this this descendant function for this case um, i don't have any arguments in the parentheses because when you are looking at um, descendants in the same column, then you don't need a reference. If, if I were to look at other um, uh, descendants in another column, I would need to put the column reference. But in this case, because everything's in the same column, you can simply say descendants with the parentheses. And so the count is using descendants as the range and one or true as the criterion. And similar for our count, the descendants is the range. And so it counts all the descendants of this parent row. Now, if um, these two count statements are not equal, we have zero or false in the parent row and one if it is true. Now, in the second example under executive gala, I wanted to show the difference in the descendants and the children function. So in this children function, it does a similar um, task as the descendants function, except that the, the children function only looks um, down one level of indentation. So let me show you how that changes uh, the re, uh, or the functionality of this formula. So if I go ahead and I check um, these items here, see it shows completed even though my choose food row is not done. And the reason why is because choose food is not a child of executive gala. Um, it could be thought of as a grandchild or a descendant of executive gala, but not a child. Um, in this case, choose food is a, is a child of pay deposit. So, um, you know, depending on your application, you may want this behavior or you may not. Um, but I wanted to show both examples so that way you would have a choice in how you do this. Um, and my project status is, is very simple, of course. If, if my task is complete, I show completed. If not, then it's in progress. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, put these formulas in the description of this video for your reference. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.